Uh, I'd like to first thank uh, everybody who has turned out to show their support, uh, the patients who are here, the elected officials who are here, uh, representatives of activists and advocacy organizations. Uh, we really appreciate you coming to our support at this time of our need. We opened Harborside Health Center six years ago to demonstrate that cannabis could be distributed in a way that brings benefits to communities rather than harms. And since that time, our incredible staff has accomplished that goal and more. Today, Harborside is universally recognized as having set the gold standard for legal, legitimate, regulated distribution of medical cannabis. There is no legitimate reason to target Harborside Health Center. Amen. We do not. We do not fit into any of the categories outlined by the Department of Justice. We are not close to a school. We are not profiteers. And we are not out of compliance with state law. Now we are being told that we are targets simply because we are too large. But the reason we have the largest number of patients is because we have provided the highest level of care and met a need that was desperately needed. Anybody, anybody who visits Harborside Health Center and sees the meticulous and careful way that we observe the laws of the state of California and the regulations of Oakland and care for our patients knows that any illusion or allegation that we are out of compliance with the law or doing anything wrong is completely absurd and ridiculous. No, this uh, attack, uh, if it's successful, is going to return many thousands of patients to the illegal market. It's street drug sales, uh, and law enforcement costs in Oakland are immediately going to rise when $22 million worth of cannabis sales goes back onto the streets. <coughs> Over $3 million worth of tax revenue is going to be destroyed. And in this time, this time of joblessness, <coughs> over 100 jobs, uh, our incredible employees, are now at risk of becoming jobless. Harborside has nothing to hide of. Hide. <coughs> Harborside has nothing to hide and nothing to be ashamed of. We have no intention of closing our doors. We shall continue. We shall continue to provide our patients with the medicine that their doctors have recommended to them. We will contest the Department of Justice openly, in public, and through all legal means at our disposal. We look forward to our day in court and are confident that justice is on our side. We will, we will never abandon our patients. You're here. We have no intention of closing our doors. We shall continue to provide this medicine. We know that when dispensaries close, it's the most vulnerable patients who suffer the most. Unable to find new sources, unable to navigate the dangers of the illegal marketplace, they will end up doubled over with nausea. They will end up writhing in pain in beds that they're too weak to rise from. They'll end up trapped in apartments suffering from depression and anxiety so bad they can't bring themselves to leave anymore. We've seen firsthand how this medicine helps our patients. We cannot and will not walk away from our duty to help them. We intend to keep the commitment that we made six years ago, a commitment to provide the very best cannabis medicines in the safest and most legitimate way possible. We are going to keep that commitment as faithfully as, can, as we can for as long as we can. And we are confident when the history of these days are written, written that our grandchildren will be proud to read of what we have done. Thank you.